Hey, what's going on, Cookies here? I just wanted to show you guys a super, super overpowered method of getting seaweed spores. As you can see, I have 86, and I have pretty much done nothing except play other games today. I've done this for about an hour and a half now, and this is how many I've ended up with. And it's it's mostly AFK. Um, so to give you guys a rundown, uh, basically while you're standing in the shallow areas of the underwater zone, uh, there's a chance that seaweed spores can spawn anywhere around you from, uh, anywhere from one to three seaweed spores. And so basically we're going to use rune light to make it to where we can just stand here and rune light will just ping us every single time that a seaweed spore spawns. Uh, so the amounts that you can get vary differently, like I've stood here for about 15 minutes and only gotten about like 6 or 7 of them. Um, but then again, like like I said, I was standing here for about an hour and a half a little bit ago earlier today, and I got literally 80 because I had 2, and then I ended up with about 82 at the end, and now I've been planting them in between and stuff like that. So, without further ado, this is what you do. Go into Rune Light, make sure you have it downloaded, of course, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Ground Items, go to that plugin, enable it, go to the settings, and right here under Highlighted Items, we are going to type in Seaweed Spore. Seaweed Space Spore, and then that's it. And if you're going to have additional items on there, just put commas in between, and you're good to go. So once we have that written down, uh, we are going to scroll down here to notify for highlighted drops and you're going to make sure that that's checked and that's it for that and then the other thing i recommend is going to rune light going to the settings in there and we are going to go down here to enable oh wait send notifications when focused and this just makes it to where so that when you're clicked into the client if you're talking in your clan chat or you're like Doing the, you know, you're farming the seaweed or you're just doing something else in the game or looking at your skills or anything like that, it'll still ping your desktop and tell you, hey, look over here. Oh, hey, look at that. Three seaweed spores. Oh my gosh. And I get a little desktop notification for it. Okay. Cool. Three seaweed spores. Um, so yeah, make sure that uh, send notifications when focus is enabled. And then um, that is pretty much it. I guess the only other thing is make sure that if the Windows notifications aren't popping up, that you go into your actual Windows settings and enable uh, pop-up notifications from other apps, it'll call it. And Runelight will be one of them. And that's it. And then all you do is sit down here. And I guess the... Oh, there is actually one more thing. Um, you want to go to... I believe it would be idle notifier and oh hey look at that i got another seaweed spore cool we're gonna go pick that up boom another seaweed spore we're at 90 now and oh oh my gosh three seaweed spores look at that wow 93 seaweed spores who needs to play the mini game or kill lobstrosities when you can do this okay um so go to idle sorry about that so go to notifier go to idle notifier enable it go to the settings and you can Pretty much, I would just disable all of these except for idle logout notifications. And what this will do is it will ping your desktop every time you're about to log out uh, from standing still for too long. So that way you can play other games on like a second monitor or, you know, do whatever you're doing. And then it'll ping you, hey, you're about to log out. And then all you do, just click on the ground. And then it'll go, hey, you got seaweed spores. Hey, you got seaweed spores. Hey, you're going to log out. And you just keep following it and pretty much... Um, I think you can stand still for about 15 to 20 minutes before you log out. So, um, yeah, this this method is amazing because I hated playing the minigame because it felt like it took so long to just get, like, a few seaweed spores. And then by the time that you're done with the minigame, it's already time to plant new ones. And it's just this repeating cycle. Oh, hey, look at that, you guys. Three seaweeds. Look at that, you guys. Another seaweed spore. Jesus Christ. Okay. So there you go, that's the guide, enjoy it, and be happy that you never have to farm these fucking things ever again. See you in the next one. There's another one. Yep, this is real.